Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. The Samsung Galaxy devices, amazing cutting edge hardware, beautiful looks, but always bogged down by that touch based UI. That is the reason Samsung introduced One UI and you are right. In today's video, we are going to install One UI Beta on the Pocophone F1. This is not a daily driver. It doesn't even have phone calls working, but that's where it gets exciting because the development is underway and it should be fixed hopefully soon. So there are no ETAs as such. The link will be in the description. But in today's video, we will install this ROM, which is based on Samsung, maybe Galaxy S9 or something like that, or S10 maybe. And we will have a look at how it looks on Pocophone F1. Now, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel, that is Kratos 390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, guys, so welcome to another video. And today's video is about a very, very special port on which a developer has been working for a long time now. It's been around a month, more than a month, actually, that I've been seeing this ROM develop. And this is Samsung's One UI that is in beta 3 right now. Now, let me give you a disclaimer first hands itself that this is not a daily driver. SIM cards are not working. You do see your IMEI and stuff. And this is a highly, highly experimental ROM. So if you just want to get a feel of it, you may give it a try and then you can revert back to stock. It may not break your phone, but it's always you know good to be sure of what you are doing. And before we start, I would like to share a few details of what needs to be done. First things first, you need to be unlocked with the unlocked bootloader. You need to have TWRP. In my case, I'm using 3.2.3.2, and you need to extract the folder from the file that is linked in the description and copy that folder inside the TWRP folder just like we did with the H2OS beta and also the OnePlus 7 Pro port of Oxygen OS. Now, once you're done doing all that, you just need to go to wipe, advanced wipe, Delvic cache system data. Don't wipe internal storage. Now, once the wipe is complete, you just need to go to restore, select this one UI underscore camera folder. Don't make any changes over here. Just swipe to restore. Now this restore of course will take three to five minutes to be done. Meanwhile, let me inform you about what is working and what is not working. So as of now, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, audio, graphics processor, modem, camera, flashlight, always on display, IMEI and a few more things are working. What is not working is RIL, vibration, SD card, Wi-Fi keeps dropping, biometrics, that means uh, forget face and lock, even the fingerprint sensor is not working. So as I mentioned, this is a highly, highly experimental ROM. Kudos to the developer who is developing this. I'll link that in the description. So let's wait for this restore to complete and then we'll proceed to the boot section. All right, now as you see, the restore is complete in 98 seconds, so it just took around uh, say more than one and a half minutes. Now let's reboot system. Now, of course, this is the first boot of an experimental ROM. So it will take anywhere between three to five minutes. You will see the Samsung boot animation on the Pocophone F1, which is uh, very, very exciting and funny at the same time. But uh, let's wait for it to boot up completely. And then we will go ahead and have a look at this beautiful ROM. All right, here we go. Looks like we are on the home screen. And the first thing that you're greeted with is uh, not the home screen exactly we are on the lock screen we were on the home screen so double tap here to learn about always on display so although th this has a lcd panel we are <laughs> on always on display so double tap here to learn about always on display does that work well double tap is not working for me so let's go ahead and unlock it. Now, as you see over here, it looks exciting. It looks brilliant. The One UI on a Pocophone F1. I do have one SIM card in there, but that doesn't really, really work. So let's quickly, we do have super user and a few other things that the developer have included. But nonetheless, let's go to settings over here. And uh, now the fact that you see T roaming over here, that means this is based on the US variant of the Galaxy S9 or Galaxy S10. Let's actually go to about phone here. 
So this is based off a Galaxy S9. Nonetheless, if we have a look, it's working perfectly fine. Even if we go to display and see if the brightness works. I think the brightness is broken there. So adaptive brightness is not working. How about blue light filter? Not really. Screen resolution, full HD plus 1920 by 1080p. No. So most of the things are still broken in this wonderful, wonderful ROM and uh, the touch is very, very smooth. The feel of the UI is very, very smooth. It is very deep loaded. There is a very slight hint of lag that is available as well. Now, somebody did tell me that don't waste time making these videos, which are not daily drivers. Absolutely. I make most of my videos on daily drivers, but ROMs like these, which are exciting and uh, they may become stable in the future to be used as a daily driver. I would love to make videos on that because people are working hard. So let's give them credits for their hard work. We do have play services and a few more things installed over here. So that's the dialer. It's very, very fascinating to see how the Pocophone F1 is turning out to be a HTC HD2, if you know what I mean. So if we go to themes over here, we have themes that is available as well, but the connection to the network is not there. So let's see if Wi-Fi works over here. Okay, so it did connect. Now let's go to the Samsung themes over here. So some things are working, some are not. So this is basically a sort of a broken ROM. You should not, I don't recommend you to, you cannot use it as a daily driver first things first. You can definitely give it a try. And if you don't want to, you can definitely, you know, refer to this video as to what is working and what is not. So more or less this ROM should, you know, be in stable or at least a usable state in the next one or two months. Give this video a like if you like experimental stuff like this, which I show on smartphone tutorials and mention the same in the comment section because I am planning to do a lot of more experimental things with the Pocophone F1 now that I have the iPhone as my primary device. So let me know in the comment section, what do you feel about this video and do like it because it really, really helps us. And if you wish to donate, the link is mentioned in the description. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye. Uh, uh, uh.